Well, hey guys, JD Rocks Fishing, and I'm Mike D. Well, the other day when I was out Site 5 with Summer, I caught a nice mango snapper. Well, today, we're gonna cook him up. We're gonna make mango snapper empanadas. This is gonna be good. See you at the cleaning table. See if I can get this one away from the Goliath. Hopefully I can get it away from him. He ain't got me yet. What is that? Oh, a big old mango. Oh, big mango snapper. Okay, guys, that is what I'm talking about. That is a nice mang. Look at that, y'all. All right, guys, I got my uh, nice mango snapper here. We're going to clean him up real quick. This is my absolute favorite fish to eat. It's a fairly easy fish to clean. Just run your knife along that backbone so you get all that meat off of it. There you go, guys. That's a nice mango snapper fillet. Get the other one. You can feel those pin bones. They come out pretty easy. There you go. Two beautiful fillets. All right, guys, I'll see you in the kitchen. All right, guys, we're in the kitchen. I got my mango snapper fillets right here. And I'll cut them up into little cubes and I can put them into my empanada shells right here. So I'm gonna cut this up real quick. I'm gonna take the bloodline out like I always do. I'm gonna discard that. Cut this up into just little chunks. Like that. Put that in And this is my absolute favorite fish, which I have said before. I love mango snapper. But in a couple days, we're going to be doing some fried triple tail. So I didn't want to fry this too. You really can't mess mango snapper up. You really can't. Well, I'm going to finish cutting the rest of this up, and I'll get back with you. Alright, so I got my empanada shell right here. 
I'm going to put a little bit of this onion and pepper mixture I made earlier. Which basically all it is is one onion, some bell pepper, one bell pepper, and this seasoning pack right here. Put a little bit of water, you mix it in, and you get this. I'm going to put a little bit of that down. We're going to take a couple pieces of our fish that we cut up. Like that. Take some cheese, some Colby Jack cheese. Get it all in the center like that. Then you're going to have to fold it over. Like so. Get it connected there. You have to push it in on each side. Just make a good connection. Same over here. And then once you got it all down, I like to take a fork and press the sides, press the sides in. And to make sure it's sealed good, I like to flip it over and do the same thing. And there you go. There's an empanada. Now take the wax paper off and I'll put it there like that so that they don't stick together. So I already made one, so now I got two. So I'm gonna make the rest of these up and then I'll get back with you when it's time to cook them. All right guys, so I got all my empanadas made. I got 20 of them. So I'll wait till my oil to get hot, get my green light, and then we'll uh, cook them up and see how they taste. All right guys. My oil's hot, I got my green light. I'm gonna put some of these in. One. One there. Two. I don't like putting more than three in at a time. So, I will cook these three up. All right guys, these are looking pretty good. I ended up putting four in there instead of three. I got so many and my girls are hungry. They are looking good. A little bit longer. I already took some out as you can see. Nice and golden brown. Looking good. Right, I'm going to cook the rest of these up and then I'll get back with you guys. Hey guys, All right, we're back. And this is our empanadas. Don't they look good? All right, I'm gonna have my girls taste them real quick. Go ahead. Mm. What do you think, Cheyenne? Bum. Mm. How about you, Summer? Mm. Good. Good? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try it real quick. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.